I'm joined by Andy Lipkin, CEO of the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation. Thanks for joining me. My pleasure. So for those who aren't familiar with it, explain what the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation is and what it's made up of. The Youngstown Area Jewish Federation, we've been around for 85 years this year, and we have uh, a number of agencies. Uh, first agency is the Jewish Community Center, located here on Gypsy Lane, and the Jewish Federation offices are actually located in our building. Uh, next door, we have Heritage Manor, our rehabilitation and retirement home. Uh, it's 72 beds. Uh, it's open to the Jewish and the general community. Uh, we also have next to it is our Jewish Family Services on the far uh, left of the building on Gyps Gypsy Lane that handles counseling and other services. And then behind uh, Heritage Manor is Levy Gardens, our assisted living facility. Uh, that's 24 units, 18 one bedrooms and six two bedrooms. And, uh, and we also have an agency we call the Jewish Community Relations Council, which is basically our public affairs uh, arm of the Jewish Federation. It deals with uh, educating the community, the media, uh, the government uh, about issues that are important to the Jewish community, issues that are important uh, to the general community, because we're not just only Jews. We are Jews that live in the community and we do care a great deal about issues facing uh, the greater Youngstown area. Of your agencies, uh, the people who utilize them, um, they're, they're all different religions, correct? Absolutely, and, and in fact, uh, well over 80% of our members here at the JCC, they're not Jewish. More than half of the residents of Heritage Manor, our nursing home, they're not Jewish. And Levy Gardens, uh, the same is true as well too. Jewish Family Services, you know, takes you know, anybody regardless of religion. So we actually have uh, a number of positions open in all our agencies, and I just want to make it clear, uh, we hire everybody, Jews and non-Jews, uh, so it's very important. Can you give us um, a sense of the history and the, and the numbers of the, the Jewish people in our area? I mean, have the numbers um, been increasing, decreasing? Sadly to say, it's been decreasing. Um, I moved here in 1985, so November 18th is my 35th year with the Jewish Federation. Congratulations. Thank you. And <laughs> at the time, we said there were 3,800 people. I like to say men, women, children, cats, and dogs. <laughs> okay. um, today, depending on how you slice it, we have anywhere between 1,100 and 1,300 Jewish people. Uh, some, of the, some of that includes interfaith households, where at least one member of the household is Jewish. Um, probably in the 50s and 60s, over 8,000 Jews. Uh, and just like our general community, more and more people have relocated. Um, some of our kids, you know, once they graduate high school, maybe because they want to uh, mature, they want to grow up, they want to go away to college, and many of them don't come back. We did have a lot of family businesses at one time that closed up. Why? Because none of the children decided to come back. So our community has declined. So somewhere in the 8,000s in the 50s and 60s, uh, 3,800 uh, when I came 35 years ago, and today between 1,100 and 1,300. So is that a concern? Is that something that you're actively uh, working to increase and bring more Jewish people back into the area? I know it is part of our strategic plan uh, to try to bring Jews to our community. Um, but to be perfectly honest, uh, there's a lot of things that we're working on all at the same time. And, uh, but we're also working with a lot of community partners. Uh, Youngstown Business Incubator is an example. Uh, three years ago, we sponsored a trip with uh, Youngstown Business Incubator and YSU. Uh, Jim Tressel went along with his wife and daughter. Um, we went with Barb Ewing from the Youngstown Business Incubator and we would tra traveled all over Israel. But was, what was fantastic is we met people who wanted to have their companies come here to Youngstown because it was a great opportunity for, to have a soft landing for whatever products they had. So they relocated, could relocate to the business incubator. So in fact, two companies have, have done that. So we're hoping to bring Jewish people but we're also to, to the Valley, but these companies hopefully will be able to get bigger and better and hire the local 
uh, people in the community as well too, and then branch out from Youngstown because it's it's so inexpensive to start a business here as compared to Silicon Valley. And, and your mission is not just to help the Jewish people locally, it really is to help the Jewish people worldwide. Our mission is uh, to help the Jewish community in the greater Youngstown area. Uh, it is to help Jews in Israel and 70 countries throughout the world. Um, we have an annual campaign uh, that raises money for our local community here for the services and programs that you know we are so proud of in our agencies um, and we also give money to Israel and the money goes to help social service humanitarian needs throughout the country as well at least one every five children are below the poverty line in Israel there's a lot of at-risk people we also do programming that, that helps the Arab community uh, in coexistence with the Israelis as well too. So those are the kind of things that we do and, and our money goes for. Uh, and then around the world, there are Jews in need all over the world. And so we're there to help feed them, help them with medication. They may get one hot meal a day and it's coming to uh, a community center. Uh, we have transportation for them. We give them um, a bag of groceries once every month or two where you know it makes it easier for them to survive and I've been to the former Soviet Union about six or seven times and there's nothing like walking in to someone's home and seeing where they live uh, it could be a one room where there's a, just a bathroom on the side uh, a little light bulb on top and they have nothing they have absolutely nothing and so we're there to help these people. So that's part of our mission. But part of our mission, uh, we call it Tukun Olam, which is repairing the world. It's our relationship. These are my words. This is our relationship to the general community. We have an obligation to help the ge general community. So uh, everything that we do in this local community is about helping the Jewish community as well as helping the general community. The Youngstown Area Jewish Federation really stepped up with some extra help too during the whole COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, um, the Thomas's Family Endowment of the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation provided challenge fund seed money uh, that allowed us to be able to give over $120,000 in emergency relief to 15 Valley organizations and we're so proud that we're able to do that. Um, also part of uh, our relief efforts uh, were that we received a contract with Direction Home of Eastern Ohio uh, and we started giving anywhere out from 3,500 to 4,000 meals a week. This was a whole new department we never had before. Uh, preparing meals, delivering meals. So we were closed for about two and a half months to JCC. We never laid off one full-time employee and we redeployed a number of our people. And just use an, an example, we had lifeguards who were delivering meals uh, in the community to people. So we felt good that we were able to keep people employed during, during this time, which we think is very valuable. It, it, it says that we care about our employees we care about um, them as human beings, and I, I think they recognize that we are an organization that is an important anchor, not only on the north side, but certainly in the community. Built for the 21st century American workforce, Eastern Gateway Community College has two campuses and is a national leader in online learning. EGCC.edu is a digital gateway where 30,000 students are quickly transforming their financial futures through degrees, certificates, transferable credits, and higher paying jobs. And now, residents of the Mahoning Valley can enroll in summer classes for free. It's the EGCC Summer Guarantee. Eastern Gateway, America's new workforce starts here.